My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. And this is episode 25 of the Land of the Free series in the United States of America. The city we are currently looking at is that of Philadelphia. And that's the downtown district of Philadelphia there dominating the skyline and looking rather impressive at this moment in time and today we're going to do some work in Philadelphia we already supply two of the commodities down here that would be bricks and food however we also need fuel and goods and we'd like to get that done today so we've met all four of Philadelphia's commodity demands that they require for growth so let's bring up the user interface shall we so looking healthy financially over three and a half billion and hovering around 100 million in terms of cash flow I've just noticed as well we've tipped over 1 million units of cargo delivered from the throughout the history of our corporation and 161,000 passengers as well which is pretty good fortuitous timing here we can see one of our Amtrak Express trains just arriving in Philadelphia dropping off what looks like a reasonable amount of people about half the people disembark there and that should clear up some of this here although it's not gonna make a big dent in that number but never mind okay so logistically how do we want to supply Philadelphia fuel and goods we're gonna do fuel first of all now we do obviously already produce fuel over here however this is already supplying Boston and Brooklyn and there's a few other districts around here that require fuel as well in fact no there's not <laughs> that's a, that's an outright oh yes there is Yonkers so we don't want to overtax this industry where well, that's doing quite nicely but we do have a refinery here outside of Trenton and we do have refined oil being produced here and at the moment it is only going to supply the plastics factory or the chemical factory in Exton so my current thinking is we'd have a line that leaves this freight line here branches down this way that way we keep these two industries available for connection in the future and we'll come down and have our cargo station down here from there we need to get it into Philadelphia now that's going to be a little bit that's a little bit a little bit trickier because we have our passenger line right here and we really don't want to interfere with that if we can avoid it so what we could do is come back this way with our fuel train and then have yet another branch off that comes down here over these two roads which we could reroute via a bridge under the passenger line because we already have a bridge here ready and waiting over the river and then connects into our line here uh, for obviously delivery into Philadelphia freight situated just there now just to explain this station originally there was a tool factory here and we were supplying planks however I was doing some tidying up and just deleting or demolishing some of the industries that are scattered around the map and I accidentally deleted the one here so I then had to delete the planks train which was running from here so yeah that's why that station's there doing a whole load of nothing at the moment but we can utilize it as the hub for Philadelphia so that's fine for the goods very simple we have a goods factory here that's in full swing all we do is put a truck station here and we'd run it in via trucking lines into Philadelphia what's going on here is that just caused by those traffic lights it may be so so let's just get rid of some of those traffic lights there and the ones we have along here 
and heat that because that's a fo big four way but we'll get rid of those in fact we will get rid of it and we'll just see what happens so i think that's all the traffic lights removed from philadelphia so we'll keep an eye on this now it's probably just because everything is filtering into this one lane here i think that's what's causing the backlog we could try upgrading these roads here it's going to remove or push back several residences but so be it if it keeps our traffic flowing a little bit more freely then it's a worthwhile change to make let's just get rid of those traffic lights as well that have just been generated and we'll see if that just alleviates some of this congestion that we have down here which I hope that it will anyway back to Philadelphia and the fuel so as I said we'd have our station here and we'd connect in here that's simple enough and then we'd come down this way over the river and into here and I think that should work reasonably well so let's make a start then so we want buildings we want a cargo station at least two tracks for now and we want full length in terms of the uh, the size so let's set this down quickly rename it to Trenton fuel refinery like so and let's get the lines connected in so initially I was going to come down here but I put it in such an angle that it's more conducive for us to go up here and in here like this a bit of an S curve it still means we can access these later on if we need to so that's fine All right so let's actually see to that shall we let's make moves to that end so we're going to run the track out and we're going to have a 50 mile an hour diamond or 50 plus miles per hour diamond and yes that's okay we want to curve some more because we need to curve over and then curve over the other way and this means we can have a a nicer arc on our curves as we can see let's do it with the outer radius track there can we get that to snap parallel we certainly can and I think we can get 75 miles per hour as well which is a bonus so that's fine so there's the second track so all we need to do now is bring these two together which should be straightforward and I think we'll do it after the bridge what do we have here new box cars and flat cars the all america golden sand the ashalp and the viola axalp ashalp i can never remember the correct pronunciation of that regardless we have new vehicles okay so we've crossed the bridge uh, we'll just run past these signals here and then we'll look at connecting these together give ourselves a decent run at this um, 46 is okay I won't say it's fine but it's certainly okay okay down for the signals on this little bit here just to control everything make sure everything flows as freely as possible and signals down there and I'll just do the rest in now quickly and we'll pick it back up in a few moments time okay so that's the signals on that new line we will bypass through here so let's attend to that via some new tracks and these two are going to form the pass through bypass lines here which is all good so what we're also going to need to do then is before we get into the station is branch off once again so first of all let's just have it till it's all truly parallel like so brilliant and yes that's fine so now we can cross these over and hopefully have a decent speed on all of this in the end it's not great but it's not bad and like that and now let's we'll put a couple extra signals in here so we know this is passing on through and then it's going to come out of the other side of course and again we'll get everything running truly parallel here 
and then before this set of signals here we'll have these join in like so and another set of signals there and there and obviously we need to fill that gap there as well that should be good okay so now we have a route all the way up to here we are going to need yet another platform here now so let's activate that by putting some tracks down here and this will be where the train gets loaded to head to the fuel refinery let's see that that diamond is a bit close so we may struggle to get that in however because we may want to stable our trains that shouldn't be too much of an inconvenience because what we can do is something like this so this line we're putting down now is going to be where our trains stable up it will come in like that and then like this and I think we'll put that as a double slip switch and this should work quite nicely let's just bring that in there like so okay so signal there let's go ahead and put some more signals down here and yep we'll duplicate these signals as well and then you're coming in so you want a signal there you want one there and we'll have a little short signal there to clear and one there to protect okay that should work that is a double slip switch yes I've already done that yeah that should work quite nicely so now we can have a a train run from this new station this new platform through this station down here to deliver the refined oil so then new line so we are coming from here platform number one this is going to be black and this is coming down here into Trenton fuel refinery and that should have taken the new route obviously yep and it has taken the, the pass-through pl platform as well and it's not using the stables there maybe if I put platform yeah I was on the wrong I was on the wrong one right so why can't you get back then that's the question so after Alan so after Trenton you can't get f ah yes you can't get over from this track oh yes you, yes you certainly can you can use this double slip switch here ah it's, ah, it's because that is a one-way signal in fact we need to get rid of that signal because that could cause a conflict now it should be happy yes there we go okay so at allentown full load maximum wait time picking up the refined oil and there we go so this will be our allentown to trenton oil haulage oil freight right so station or depot i should say does this one have access what well, if it came down here through here up here ah no it wouldn't unless it came oh yes it would but it would have to go through here around here and through there and i think that should be okay yeah well let's see what happens so trenton fuel depot locomotives let's have a look so i mentioned we unlock these which we can certainly take a a quick look at let's see so i guess what we do with this is build it up so i use the blue bonnet there yes and cargo wagons we have these new tank cars uh, it's a bit slow in fact let's go back to locomotive what if we double head it and have something like this not like that and then do this that's that's better that's pretty good we might be able to squeeze in a couple extra as well let's see if I can keep it below 100 seconds oh perfect 100 exactly that will do 
So 35 million 252 capacity. So I think we're only going to need one of these. And let's put that on the line. So this is the Allentown to Trenton oil freight. And you can make your way there. So let's have a look at this. This is the first time we've seen this locomotive. Well, at the minute you can't go anywhere because of you. Well, that's fine. What we can do to encourage you to come out is put a couple of two-way signals there. Now you should come out. I must say it's got a very nice sound to it. Ah, the Santa Fe. I'm left wondering now whether we could use that on our stopping service instead of the Alco. And we're using the Alco on the express service and it's doing a good job for us, so we could look into that. For now we need to get this connected into Philadelphia though, so let's take care of that first of all. So what we want to happen here is this to come off and come away down this way ideally, so let's do that. You stay straight. Does that give a nice overlap? Yes, it does. Hopefully the second track is just as pretty. Let's have a quick look now. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. Let's get rid of that signal there. And just inch it back to there. It wants to be one way. And there. There we go. Okay, so now we can run this over towards Philadelphia. So you can now start doing what you need to do, which you already were doing, so I don't know why I clicked that. So you're going to head this way. Do we want to cross here? No, because we're going the wrong direction. We want to go this way. We want to go off to the left. Okay. So maintaining speed over to the left. Like so. Over the river there, the little stream. Uh, we want to change that bridge style. Whoa, didn't mean to scroll out there to that one. There we go. For the increased speed that it offers, of course. And where are we heading now? What state? Oh, it's this station here. So we want to swing a little further left while maintaining our speed. So there's no unnecessary slowdowns. These roads will be rerouted eventually to bridge over the top of this track, but for now they're going to be fine as is. Right, can we get you over this river nicely? Apparently not. Uh, we can, but we have to hump it a little bit, which is okay, I suppose. Nothing's coming down here in terms of water vehicles, so we don't need to worry about it being a low bridge at all. And down there. And now what we want to do is get it to connect into this line, which should be reasonably straightforward. What we might have to do, though, just to avoid any complication, is just smooth off this swampy area here and just get rid of that so there's no unnecessary collisions when we're laying our tracks. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is we have a switch there. Let's try and get this so it looks nice. I think that maybe comes out a little bit more like that. I'm trying to make, make it match the gradient of this track here, of course, so there's no visible overlapping. Let's have a look. Hmm. It's a bit rough there. But I think we can live with that. We're not going to go into that fine detail there. Right, let's have a look at this. So we have a slow bend there, but 44 isn't too, too bad. Yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. It gets us in there, doesn't it? Right, let's do some signal work on these new tracks then. So again, I'll put a little cut in here and I'll pick it back up once the signals are in position. All right, there we go. That's all the signals laid in. So now we should be able to get a line from here over to here. However, we don't want to do that just yet because there'll be no pull for the fuel over here as it stands. So we need to do the the final leg, the road delivery leg of all of this. So what do we want? Let's let's use 
I guess use the country roads because they have a higher speed. So we want a nice flat run in front of here. Like that. And how are we going to get this into the town of Philadelphia? Hmm. What we might have to do is come from here, delete this road and bridge over because we don't want any interaction with our train line if we can avoid let's just get rid of some of those and let's just quickly pause it at this point because we don't want them to rebuild so let's see can we do this yes that's easy and straightforward it looks a bit weird at the minute but it will fill in the the legs in a few moments time Let's just drop back down to ground level. And we'll have you as earthwork. No, we will have a bridge. Not that bridge, though. Good lord. Yeah, we'll have the bridge there. And this might be a bit steep, but it should be okay. And we might be able to make it look a little smoother with some of this. Maybe like that. It looks a bit steep there. Or is it better like that? I think it's better like that. We'll go for that option. There we go. So now we can unpause it. So we also need a truck station over here. So we'll get one of those. We'll go, in fact, now we don't need four platforms because two of the four commodities have been handled already, aren't they? So we do only need two for this. Philadelphia Exchange. Well, if we stick freight in there, that's perfect. Philadelphia Freight Exchange. Wonderful. Okay, drop off point. Where do you want the fuel, Philadelphia? You want it down here. Okay. Not a problem. Right, new line from there to there with the orange colour. Make sure you are only taking fuel. And this is the Philadelphia fuel delivery. Excellent. We have a depot right there, which is ideal. And we're going to use the Studebaker dump trucks. And we're going to go for eight of those. Maintenance up high, because they are going in Philadelphia. We don't want them to add to the noise pollution, or we want to reduce it as much as we possibly can. And there we go. Okay, so now we should be able to set up the line from Trenton Fuel Refinery into Philadelphia. So we're going there to there. Orange colour. Yep, that's all working fine. Separate platforms, great. Fully loaded with an infinite wait time. And we know you're not going to wait in each other's way because you're waiting down here. So that's fantastic. Loading fuel. So this is going to be the Trenton to Philadelphia. Or Trenton to Philly. Fuel freight. Wonderful. Okay, new loco, and we can use this depot, no problem. What do we want to use for this? I think we'll go for the Baldwin again. It's pretty decent on the short to medium haul journeys. 180 capacity. Hey, yeah, that's, that's not bad. And assign it on the line. And again, we're just going to have one to start with. And I think that's where we'll leave it for today then, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what I'm going to do between episodes is go through a lot of our freight lines and upgrade them to utilise the newer freight wagons that we just unlocked earlier in the episode. And then we'll pick it up after that point uh, in episode number 26 when the vast majority of our rail lines will have been upgraded. I will also have a look whether it is worthwhile, in fact we'll do it very quickly now while we're here, why not, whether it is worth upgrading these for the, I can't remember what they were called now, what were they, yes the EMD F7A multi units, and let's see, let's see which one would we want to use, ooh New York City EMD, no, no I don't think that would really, no it, well I suppose it does go through. New York City, so there is that argument. Ah, what the heck. So if we go for one of those, we'll go for the higher number. Stick it at the front, of course, but not that far at the front. What does that do? Well, that's fine, because what we can also do 
is add one on the rear pretty much like for like isn't it it's, it's very little in that we did also want the new passenger wagons didn't we? with the golden sand so if we were to do that we're going to increase our capacity and our top speed hmm, no um in fact yeah we will do that we'll do it very quickly because we can do it as a replace all can't we so what did we have we had this with the New York City livery we can have a couple of those like that then it was the golden sand in fact could we have three on there now I think three would look weird um, yep two of those golden sands times eight thereof back down here one of you and one of you yeah why not replace and can they be painted green or is it going to look ridiculous no it looks like it's only a small flashing on the coaches that changes and indeed it is well i quite like that i think that was worthwhile doing there right at the end whether it's more efficient or not I'm not particularly fussed at this point. We're making plenty of money. Let's just have a good look at this one as it comes it comes on past here. In fact, let's do this. In fact, this can be... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Oh, that's better. Oh, God, that's weird. Um, okay, let's not do that. Let's just have a look this way. Yeah, it looks quite nice, that New York Central. Quite noisy, but there you go. So yes, there we are. As I said, we're going to leave it there for today. And we'll take a ride on one of our new trains. In fact, we'll hop on this one, which is about to turn around in Philadelphia and head to Trenton. So let's just get them in alongside. We'll pause the date in advance in anticipation. And as soon as it departs Philadelphia, we shall hop on board and have a ride on our new line into Trenton. While we're waiting for that, let's just check if any of our new trains have arrived in Trenton yet. It doesn't look like they have, but they can't be too far away at this point. In fact, there's one of them there now. Yes, yeah, not too far at all. Just being held up by the plastic strain, which is fine. Right, so let's get on board. We're about to leave. This is a weird camera as well. Tell you what, shall we go for that? No, because you're getting posts in the face. No, I don't like that at all. That's making me feel a little bit seasick. I'm not sure why. Um, what do we want to ride on instead then? Let's just pick on something down here. What do we have? I tell you what, we'll ride this to the farm and back. It's only a short journey. But this is, have a look at the USA 160, I believe it is. Which we've not really had a look at yet. And, oh, should we sit like that? Nestled in, get a face full of smoke. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Apologies for the fanning about there, trying to pick a, a decent locomotive to ride on. But there we go. So yes, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, as always. It's, a, it's always a pleasure. And all that remains for me to say is, as always, ladies and gentlemen, you take very good care of yourselves. It's Tata for now.